check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Well, it is time to finish these seats. Because you know why? Well, you can't drive a car without a seat to sit in. Yesterday I went ahead and started doing the upright back portion with the new cover I got. It's gonna look really, really nice. The lower portion, um, it's, not, it's not too bad a condition. I went ahead and painted this lower frame blue to match the car. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this cushion as it is. It's not the prettiest, but it's at least still pretty solid. Moving on to the other seat. Oh boy, it's a little rough. There's a few things I gotta fix. This frame has some broken welds. Um, it's hard to see here, but it's got these support bars holding this seat upright. It needs to be fixed and re-welded there, re-welded there, re-welded there. Um, one other spot right here. Um, anyways, I gotta get these welded. Got this welder from my neighbor for $100. I've never welded before in my life. Figured this is a good opportunity to practice because I won't need anything serious right here. I just need to kind of tack these pieces back to the frame of the seat. Don't even know if this is gonna come out okay, but at the same time, I gotta go ahead and just suck it up and do it because it's hard to find these seats. If you're a Volkswagen person, you know. It is hard to find these seats and I gotta kinda make do with what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and get the welder fired up and I'm gonna get some foam put on these, rewrap them in my new seat covers and I'm gonna get these things installed in my bug because this poor car has just been sitting here way too damn long and uh, I'm ready to drive it. The weather is beautiful here in South Florida right now. And uh, if I wait any longer, it's gonna be hot as shit out and I'm not gonna wanna drive it. So let's go ahead and get this started. Fingers crossed this comes out <laughs> the way that somebody else would do it because uh, I'm a rookie at welding. So let's, let's give it a whirl. Alrighty, here goes nothing. Okay, next step is to take this, fold off this piece that's attaching the back to the bottom. Okay, next step, I got the sail blue. Match the color of my car. Just gonna go ahead and start spraying this lower frame blue. I'm gonna have to do every square inch of the seat because most of it will be covered up. Just painting the areas that will be exposed. All right, let's get the bottom cover on. Again, if you didn't see these seat covers in my one of my previous videos, I got these from Edwin's Plastic Upholstery. He's actually located in the Philippines and uh, does really good quality work. Good quality materials. I went with the blue and the red plaid. This blue, it's a little bit darker than what I thought it would be, so it's not a perfect match to the car, but it's gonna look pretty nice. I already got the back bench seat in there, as you can see. So there's the back bench seat. So I got the bench seat cover and the two front seat covers 
custom made to the colors I wanted and shipped here to the United States. I think it was for right around $400 or it might actually have been a little less than that. So anyways, if you're looking for a good alternative to maybe some expensive brands here in the States and you're looking to save some money, it might be the route to go. I don't know. Uh, but also shop local anytime that you can. So don't forget that. So I'm going to get these on now. Okay, so when you're putting seat covers on, you're gonna wanna really just kinda take your time and maybe compress the springs a little bit to help it get it all the way down to the bottom. And if you look underneath here, hopefully you can see this. There's little little metal hooks right here. Well, it's hard to show. Little metal hooks on the inside of this bar. What you're gonna wanna do is pull this cover down below this bar and basically puncture below the seat below the seam here and hook it onto those metal hooks and that'll keep your seat cover all the way down it's a little tricky takes a little time gotta work these down over the springs here but with a little patience remain calm it can be done okay so i flipped the seat over and you can see the little hooks here You're gonna to want to make sure that these are bent out a little bit so that you can get that fabric around and hooked onto them and then you can always tap them down with a hammer and kind of lock them down into place some of mine need to be bent out in order for them to work a little bit better this one's pretty gnarly looking that one's pretty gnarly looking but they're all still there aside from the one here on the front which i'm gonna to have to go ahead and just deal with so get those pulled around, hooked onto those, and you're all set. Okay, so one quick tip. When you're trying to get these covers on and you feel like they're just not gonna go down around that bottom bar and hook on, you'd be doing yourself a service if you compress the springs, compress the seat, and then the fabric will reach down and you can hook them. So another quick little tip is you really want to kind of gently bend these up a little bit so that they're not sandwiched in. They're pressed down, I guess I should say. And bend these up, but be very gentle when you're using some of the one of those pliers and bending these out because you've got to remember, these are like at least 50 year old little metal hooks and they're not new very rusty so just do them slowly because they will break if you go crazy on them if you bend them back too quickly they will just snap right off so just go gentle I think I think I'm just gonna leave it like that because it is down around the seat pretty good and I don't think it's gonna pop back up. So I'm just gonna leave that because that'll be at the back of the seat and nobody will see that. It's nice and snug, that's how you want it. See it just kind of wraps down. Not bad. So I already have the cover on the back one but just to give you a little idea, the same thing goes with this. It's much easier to get this seat cover put slid down over this when you compress the compress the cushion as you're doing it because these are gonna very gonna be very snug fit. So you're gonna want to compress that spring as you're sliding it down. Make sure that your seams are equal on both sides, so you have it nice and centered, which we do here. Once you get that on there, the front flap will curve around to the back here. Now normally there's a bar that goes across here. Normally there's a bar that goes across here. Well, the welds broke on that a while back and it came off. So 
the bar that goes right here, you'd actually take this inner flap, which has a little piece, a little metal rod in it, and you would bring that down and hook it to that bar. And then you would take this flap and bring it up and also hook it to that bar. Well, I don't have that, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and figure out what to do with this. I think what I might do is just bring this flap over to this flap and hook it together with maybe some upholstery hooks, which I don't have at the moment. So I'm gonna look around the garage and see if there's something that I do have. And then I can go ahead and um, attach that flap to that flap and call the day. Okay, so like I said, on this inner flap coming down on the back side, there's a metal rod like this that I fed through that pocket. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing down here, which is the flap coming from the front of the seat. If I can do this one-handed. So that's gonna go all the way through there. I'm going to take this, this one. What I did is I drilled a couple holes in the frame right here. I'm gonna pull this down over that. I'm gonna pull this flap up once it has the metal rod in it. I'm gonna overlap them, and then I'm gonna just drop a, a nice looking finished screw right here with a washer. And that's how I'm gonna secure this one. It's not really how it's supposed to be done, but sometimes you gotta make things up to make them work. That's what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so I was gonna put some screws through this after I overlap them, but I decided since I don't really have any screws that I think will look good, I'm just gonna go with a rivet. So what I did is I, I pulled this flap up, I kind of pre-punched a hole through each of the two flaps. Now I'll line them up, feed the rivet through, rivet them on, and I think that's gonna be just fine. Okay. Going with the rivets instead of screws. The washer, putting over the rivet here. I'm gonna go ahead and poke that through the first flap. Remember, there's a metal rod in each one of these. Pull that down over the hole. Bring that over. Punch that through, like so. Fourth pump's a charm. All right. So now, you got a metal bar and a metal bar with a rivet in between so those can't pull out either direction. Got one down, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the next one and then go to the end. Okay, as you can see, rivets are in. Once this is installed, that upper flat will hang over those and you'll never even see them. So that's not really the way it's supposed to go, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. That's a good looking seat. You'd never know. This thing is like a zombie, apocalyptic looking seat underneath this. However, a little good upholstery will go a long way. So I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting the second one outside. It's still drying. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some cushion on that and go ahead and basically repeat the process. 
Um, I do have a video showing the rear bench seat process of how I added padding. I'm basically gonna take that process and replicate it on the passenger seat uh, for the front. Okay, so you saw what I did. I laid the cotton fabric down. I zip tied it to the frame of the seat. Then I sprayed it with adhesive, cut a piece of one inch high density foam, glued that and attached that to the cotton that I laid down. Then since this seat is really kind of lost its uh, strength in the middle here, it kind of sags down. I went ahead and did a second layer of foam on the back middle section. This isn't very pretty, but it doesn't have to be. So then what I'm gonna do lay another piece of cotton fabric down and I will go ahead around and zip tie this to the outer edge of the frame the whole way around just like I did the first layer and then once that's done then I can go ahead and put my new upholstery cover on Okay, so this part is done, the cushion is done. Now, I'm just doing this the way that I think it should be done. I know this isn't like a professional way to do it. Hopefully it's pretty close, just not quite as pretty. Um, but fabric over the metal springs, your cushion, and then another piece of fabric. I zip tied the first cotton piece to the frame. Spray adhesive, attach the foam. Spray adhesive, attach the cotton over top of the foam more. And then zip, zip tied. Well, this one I did. The top, I'm not worried about. The bottom portion repeated the same process, except this one, I zip tied the top piece of cotton, wrapped it over, and zip tied it to the bottom lip of this frame. So, next step is to go ahead and just start fitting the new covers over and make it look like that seat. And then we'll go ahead, attach the top to the bottom, vacuum out the car, clean out all my junk in there, get these seats installed. And then I'll go ahead and do a final little view of the whole interior completely finished. Okay, so I put this on and now I'm taking it back off because like I said, this seat is not as springy as the other one. It's kind of collapsed a little bit. So even with the seat cover on over top of this, it's still very loose. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and put another layer of either foam or maybe triple up some of this cotton and lay it over top and just fill that sort of emptiness a little bit more and then hopefully that cover will go on a little snugger. Okay, last thing I'm gonna show on this install before I put these back in the car is there was no metal hooks to attach these flaps to anywhere. There, well, there was one that broke when I tried to open it up. So I just poked some holes through the top flap and the, the lower flap, brought them together and zip tied them. And then once this is installed, you won't see the zip ties. And
Okay, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the right there and make sure you check out my other video on the left.